Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Bentley Blonde. So today I'm going to be sharing with you, big surprise, a home decor haul. I don't have a ton to show you guys today but I have picked up a couple fun farmhouse finds so I'm really excited to share them with you guys so I wanted to hop on here. Um, I'm also going to be showing you some items that are actually in my home already. I've already decorated with them so um, I will be like taking you to that place in the house where they are. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my absolute favorite home decor item currently. I am just completely obsessed with it. Uh, this window frame is actually one of the reasons I decided to hop on here and make this video because I could not wait to share it with you guys. It's that good. Um, so I am going to have to back way up because it is huge. You guys know I go big or go home when it comes to home decor. So I had to prop this up against our dresser and then walk all the way across the room just to fit it in my frame um, because I am using a macro lens. But I had to show you guys my new baby. This is a a medium decorative window frame from the talented Joe over at Wood Turtle Designs and I'll go ahead and link his Etsy shop down below. They make the most absolutely amazing wooden creations. It is hand stained and distressed kind of giving it that rustic look. You can pick your finish. Um, he also has these decorative frames in a number of sizes. This is the medium and as you guys can see up against my dresser this is a really good size. And we do have this on our mantle and I will insert a picture here in a minute of what it looks like on there. Um, you can see I hung my Magnolia Market wreath on there from some burlap and it's absolutely beautiful you guys. The construction is amazing. Uh, it is just a wood frame. There is no glass or anything um, on the pane so it's really lightweight. Super easy to hang up on the wall or lean on the mantle like we did. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit closer so you guys can see the finish. So here is the frame close up. I love all of the little wormholes and pits and just the lovely distressed rustic white paint on there. Makes it look very authentic. I just completely love it. It's beautifully made. It really does look like an old antique window. So that is the medium decorative window frame from Wood Turtle Designs. I am just in love with this beauty. She is gorgeous. So again, this is the medium decorative window frame from Wood Turtle Designs. Go ahead and insert a photo of what it looks like on our mantle. And be sure to check out the link below to visit Joe's shop. You guys, you need one of these. Everyone needs one. So next I have a couple things I picked up at our local Hobby Lobby. Yes, I said local. The most exciting thing ever, a Hobby Lobby opened in my town last week. It was the biggest news ever. I have always had to drive over an hour to go to our closest Hobby Lobby in Virginia. So to have one here in our little town in Maryland is like the best news ever. So they had an impromptu soft opening the other day and of course as soon as they posted I like went eight. I got in my car, strapped Colton in, we flew to the Hobby Lobby. I was so excited you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay so I want to show you what I picked up and this will probably be the first of god knows how many Hobby Lobby hauls because I'm so in love with that place and and we have one five minutes from us now. So this is not good for my wallet, y'all. I love it! So first, they had 50% off their floral. Um, so I picked up two stems. They are these gorgeous ferns. They shed like mad. If you get these, just be wary because they really do shed awful. But they are soft and fuzzy green ferns. And I have these in my glass Demijohn vases downstairs. And I love them. Really beautiful, nice little green touch for summer, y'all know. I love to add pops of greenery throughout the house. So I got two of these. I think I got them for like two or three bucks because they were 50% off. Oh my gosh! Look at the corbels I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, I posted these on Instagram and a bunch of you guys said that your local Hobby Lobbies did not have corbels. Um, I'm not sure if ours just had them because they just opened or what the deal was, but I almost died when I saw them because not only did I find amazing corbels, but I got them for $15 a piece. They were originally 30, so they were 50% off. Yay! So I got two of these gorgeous wooden corbels. They're like a distressed white finish. They look really similar to the Magnolia Market corbels, which are way more expensive, as you guys probably know. So I'm going to be using these actually to create a shelf. So I will have them on either end, and then I'm probably just going to do a um, natural stained top. And that is going to be what we put between our um, Kirkland's mirrors downstairs in the living room over the couch. And I will be showing you the amazing Kirkland's mirrors I picked up here shortly. Then I found two of these monsters. I only got one. You're welcome 
welcome to whoever found the other straggler. But yeah, I just got this to kind of use as decor. I have it sitting on our bench in the foyer right now. This one was also $15. I cannot believe it because it is humongous, really heavy. So this is the other corbel that I found. She is beautiful. Nice natural stain finish on that particular one. I felt like this weirdo coming out of Hobby Lobby with all these wood items. Like, I don't know, I look like Bob the Builder or something. But anyway, I got this beautiful decorative barnwood ladder. Who knew Hobby Lobby even carried stuff like this? Um, but I got this one on sale as well for only $25, originally $50. I told you guys, I hit the Hobby Lobby jackpot. So it's actually this tall. I have it sitting on the floor. So a really nice size. You could even use it as a blanket ladder. Real barnwood, heavy ladder. So you can see, really nice and tall. I actually have this leaning against our fireplace, and I'm just going to use it as a blanket ladder with some blankets. I also got this big unfinished wooden shelf. Because um, you can never have enough wood in your life. Am I right? So uh, this is just a pre-made, very simple, unfinished wooden shelf. You can see it comes with the uh, brackets. It's attached. Very cute. So I'm going to be staining and painting this and using this over one of the toilets in uh, either the master bath or the guest bathroom. I'm not sure which yet. And I'll decorate on top and I'll be sure to share with you guys. This was, I believe, $13. So a really good deal for a nice, solid wooden shelf. So this is the Kirkland's panel door mirror that I was telling you guys about. You can see it has a ton of detail. It really looks like an old antique door. It has this beautiful, um, intricate wood carving on the bottom. You can see it has panels like a door. And then you have your window frame on the top. These are sold out online currently, but they do still carry them in some stores. And I did contact Kirkland's and they said they think they should be restocked online sometime in June, hopefully. So definitely stay tuned for that. I will go ahead and put the link down below just in case they restock, but I got two of them. The other one is over there. You can see we have a mirror in between them right now. That is not going to be staying. That's gonna come down and we're gonna put a decorative shelf up right there. I also wanted to share with you guys our new bedding. And this is the three-piece Avon comforter set from Lush Decor. And you can see it is a beautiful ruffle comforter. It did also come with the two shams. I've been wanting to switch our blue paisley comforter to just a nice, fresh, white comforter for some time. So I'm really excited about this white ruffle comforter. It is absolutely perfect for this space. So as you can see, beautiful ruffle detail in an OG pattern. And oh my goodness, you guys, it is as soft as a cotton ball. Really soft, like a down sort of feel to it. So again, this is the Avon comforter set from Lush Decor Home, and we have been really, really pleased with it. So I definitely wanted to share that with you guys. So next, I picked up this fabulous mixing bowl at Pier 1, who is also having a sale. That, well, they're always having a sale. They always have like a sale shelf. But I found this amazing bowl that kind of reminded me of Ray Dunn, and I loved it. You guys probably can't tell from here, but it has a beaded sort of scalloped edge, which is really cute. It has a pedestal bottom, and then the inside in black lettering says indulge. I can just picture this full of delicious, fluffy mashed potatoes, can't you? <laughs> so yeah, that is from Pier 1. Then I just picked up a few outdoor pillows for our new patio, which I'm going to be sharing in a Outdoor Oasis patio makeover post on my Instagram soon, so be sure to follow me over there. Um, but these are actually from Lowe's. They're made of really nice outdoor fabrics and they have beautiful green and sort of this off-white striping. These were kind of my inspiration for the entire look of the patio makeover. So this is what those look like. And then I got contrasting pillows actually at Walmart for $5 each. You can see they have this really gorgeous pattern with lots of bright greens and blues. You guys know I love my green. So this is what they look like together. I think it's just like a fun contrast with the stripes and then the almost um, swirly floral pattern. So I will be sharing our patio reveal here in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned to Insta for that. So this is a handmade sign from The Sign Co., my friend Danielle over on Instagram. She has an amazing Etsy shop. She makes the most gorgeous wooden rustic farmhouse signs. Um, this is a custom one that she did for me. I picked out this quote, 
and she made a beautiful sign for our living room. Um, I haven't hung it up yet. It's going to be part of our new wall over the couch, so I'll be sharing that soon. And you can see that she used this beautiful um, cursive script, which is gorgeous, and did a stained frame. Really just a beautiful, rustic farmhouse sign. I actually have another sign from the Sign Co. in our breakfast nook. It is our um, Serve the Lord sign over the French doors, and they are just gorgeous. Her craftsmanship is excellent, so I love this sign. I will go ahead and put her link down below as well. You can also see a full-size photo of this entire picture over on my Instagram. Last but not least, I received the absolute cutest package from my friend over on Instagram, Becky, of Junk Handmade. She has an incredible Etsy shop. Um, she is just a very talented creator. And she recently started selling her Party in a Box, which is an entire kit to make your own DIY handmade farmhouse sign, which is so popular right now, so I know you guys will be excited to see it. So it comes in this great box and everything that you need to make your own DIY farmhouse sign is literally in this box, which is adorable. Um, so you get craft size paint for your junk handmade sign kit. This is her own milk paint that she makes in here, uh, which is really, really cool. She tells you how to mix the milk paint up. Then you have your sign all nice and wrapped up. This is a great gift idea for any home decor or farmhouse lover in your life. No surprise, it says Home Sweet Farmhouse, but you can do any saying on there that you want. So that is the text that I chose. I cannot wait to make this sign. You can see it's wrapped up beautifully. This kit would also be fun for like a DIY girls night or a party. If y'all wanted to get together and make signs for your homes. Also a great housewarming gift. So here you go. An unfinished wooden sign, really nice and solid. So she's already created the frame and the canvas for you. Leaves it up to you to be creative. You can either paint or stain your frame. I will probably stain mine. Then you have your unfinished wood canvas here so that you can add your um, text paint it all up and have your own farmhouse sign, which is so awesome. Um, and here it has information on her website where you can go to see a full video demonstration tutorial. So I'm really excited to make my own farmhouse sign a really great gift idea. This is again the junk can made party in a box. So that is everything that I had to share with you guys today. I told you this was going to be kind of a small little home decor haul, um, but I will have more videos coming up shortly, so be sure to stay tuned. Also, follow me over on Instagram if you want to see pictures of these products in our home. I share a lot of home decor related posts over on that account. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Bye, y'all.